Welcome back everyone. If you pay for Southwest Gas, APS, or Tucson Electric, you'll want to hear this. A 12 News analysis of major votes involving those utilities in 2023 shows a really clear pattern. The elected Corporation Commission overwhelmingly sided with utility companies and in every case did not vote for the position taken by a state consumer advocate agency. 12 News journalist Joe Dana explains why all of this matters and why one commissioner is defending his votes. Always remember that these price increases hurt the least of our people in our community the most. Since 1981, Steve Neal of Mesa has made energy policy his passion. Attending meetings at the Corporation Commission, providing hundreds of public comments, he now attends monthly consumer workgroup meetings with APS. We go over all kinds of issues facing consumers. Neal is not alone. An entire state agency, the Residential Utility Consumer Office, or RUCO, was created to represent regular customers like Steve against for-profit monopoly utilities. I love hearing the perspective of the monopoly utility and I love hearing the perspective of the residential utility consumer office and they often bring great balance to that but lately uh, that balance is diminished. Steve's concerns are backed up by the voting record. In 2023, there were six key yes votes by the commission involving power companies in which RUCO also weighed in on behalf of consumers. As it turns out, RUCO opposed all six of the commission's votes in those cases. Four of the votes involved raising utility rates or reimbursing utility companies for higher fuel costs impacting customer bills. In those cases, RUCO proposed more modest approaches they argued would have impacted customers less severely in the short term. And the scales have tipped with the monopoly utilities gaining the favor of the commission. Four of the elected commissioners are Republicans, Kevin Thompson, Nick Myers, Jim O'Connor, and Leah Marquez-Peterson. Anna Tovar is the lone Democrat. In those six big cases, Thompson, Myers, and O'Connor were yes votes for all six. Marquez-Peterson voted yes in four of the six. Tovar voted no on all six. The fact commissioners voted against RUCO's position in every big case does not necessarily mean they voted against the interest of ratepayers. Commissioners have to make tough choices and balance ensuring customers get fair rates and the utilities get reasonable profits. But here's one reason why advocates like Steve accuse commissioners of just deferring to the utilities. Take the June vote. The commission voted to settle two long-running legal disputes with APS. The result of those negotiations? A new surcharge on APS bills that lasts until 2038. The commission negotiated with APS behind closed doors and left RUCO out of the discussions, even though RUCO was one of just four parties in the case. The consumers did not have a seat at the table. 2023 has been a bad one for the consumer. The only commissioner to respond to our request for comment was Thompson. He tells 12 News, RUCO is the consumer advocate and as such is uniquely focused solely on the consumer. The commission's job is to look comprehensively at all stakeholders, including ratepayers. Thompson says this commission is playing catch up to the previous commission that, quote, instead of kicking the can down the road, prior commissions should have made the hard and financially responsible decision to recover the cost when the bills first started piling up. In fact, the can was kicked down the road a little bit. Neil says the pandemic and rising fuel costs played a role. But instead of coming up with a better system to address these issues, those ideas have all been shot down by the commission. Another consequential vote is coming soon, as the commission will vote on a request by APS to raise rates another 11 percent. Big monopoly utilities are gaining more and more power, and they're able to get their way. Consumers should beware. They should make their voices heard down at the commission, and we'll see you down there. Joe Dana, 12 News.